Hey guys, this is Tom with The Verge and I am looking at HCC's new Vive Pro VR headset. Now, uh, this is an upgrade from the original headset that came out nearly two years ago. They've essentially refreshed the entire headset. Um, so you can see very clearly at the front now, they've got dual front-facing cameras. Um, these are going to be used for developers to obviously do pass-through VR. Um, but they obviously gives it the effect of like a couple of eyes at the front. So it's kind of a unique design compared to the original. Um, you'll also notice that there's a, lot, a slight blue tint to uh, this new Vive Pro. Um, it's like a navy blue, I'd say. Um, it's not very noticeable from a distance, but when you get up close, it's really obvious. Now inside, they've actually changed the resolution of the lenses, so you've actually got uh, 2880 uh, by 1600 now resolution. So that's up 78% from the original Vive. Um, now in real terms, outside those specs, what that actually means is when you're playing games, uh, you're reading text or anything like that in VR, it's going to be a lot clearer. Um, I just tried it on for about five minutes and I was trying to read text and it seems a lot better than the original. Um, it's still not like, going to be perfect, but um, I definitely noticed the difference. In terms of the actual design, it, um, it's changed quite a fair bit uh, from the original. So you've still got the strap at the top of the, the head, so you can adjust from there. Uh, but there's actually a sizing dial at the back right here. So you can go counterclockwise or clockwise, and that will lock more closely to your head. Um, it makes it feel a lot more comfortable. So one of the problems I had with the original HTC Vive um, is it felt a little bit front heavy. So you uh, tilt your head and it felt like it was going like, to push you forward. It's a lot better balanced um, and it feels a little bit lighter as well, so that's going to help with that balance too. The other thing you're going to notice is it's got built-in headphones, um, just like the Oculus Rift. So that's a lot better, so you don't have to plug in another pair of headphones and worry about another cable when you're trying to play VR. Um, they sound pretty good, it's really loud here, so there's, there's no noise cancelling on them, so it's really hard to find out exactly how good they are. Um, but they've got spatial audio, so that's going to be pretty good for VR games. Um, and it's just pretty great to see them having headphones built in. Other than that, it still kind of looks like the original HTC Vive. So the other hardware accessory that HTC announced today is a wireless adapter for the Vive and the new Vive Pro. So it's going to snap on the back of the headset, and it's just basically going to mean you don't have to have this ugly cable run into your PC. It works on Intel's Ygig technology, so it's going to be running at low latency, so hopefully the games won't like stutter or anything like that when you're in the middle of VR. And we'll test it out fully when we're outside and we've actually got a, a unit. Um, but it looks promising right now. It's, a, it's an interesting um, sort of competition to Facebook and Oculus's uh, Santa Cruz headsets that aren't out just yet and they're just prototypes. And aside from hardware, um, HTC announced some very minor sort of Vive port changes today. So you're now able to try old titles in VR. So you're able to actually look at them um, on your headset and see what they look like before you actually buy them. It's pretty cool for trying out VR, but I guess most people probably buy their games from Steam VR anyway. And HTC is planning to release this in the first quarter, uh, just the Vive Pro headset standalone. They're going to have bundles later in the year uh, for like enterprise customers and stuff like that. Um, I think it's a really interesting upgrade from the original. Um, I think it solves some of the design problems and um, some of the weight issues. Um, especially in the UK, we have like a, a theme park VR ride and it uses the Vive. Um, and it's not very comfortable and you don't have the headphones on it. So I feel like um, Something like this is going to be probably more widely used in stuff like theme parks, museums and those sort of businesses. Okay, so that was a real quick look at the new HTC Vive Pro. And um, For more of this and everything else at CES, check out The Verge's YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.